Hi, this is the Micah's Call podcast, where faith, life, and manhood meet. I'm your host, Matt Pierce, and I'm encouraging you to join in the conversation. You can shoot me an email at matt at mattpierceblog.com or submit a form at micahscall.org. Enjoy the show. Let's have a conversation about it. What's going on, fellas? Y'all doing all right? Hey, it's Matt. Yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So, hey, check it out. We're going to talk about barbecue today, right? Okay. But but my wife just texted me from the school, you know, and three boys went to the office to report her because she said, damn, right? Like the word damn. Now, I can't believe that these kids these days are like going crazy over the word damn. Now, now one of two things probably happened, you know, is either she just said, damn, y'all, you know, or she said, damn you. Now, one of th- th- this is she's the only one that thinks she doesn't she doesn't have an anger problem. You know, the rest of us kind of know this and we all kind of tiptoe around it, you know. And tell her, no, 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 you don't have an anger problem. No, no, you're kind and humble and quiet. And you, you don't you don't get viciously terrorizing with people, you know. Which, you know, from time to time she does. You know, it's that personality that our wives have. And, uh, but anyway, <clears throat> yeah, so she's having a stressful day, you know. Guess who's going to get that wrath? Yeah, yeah, you know it. You know it. You know it, which kind of leads me into my point here that, uh, you know, which which is what we're here for, right? That that's, that's what we're here for. And, you know, so anyway, anyway, check this out. I have been wanting to go barbecue for a while. All right. Like I, I don't live in a a house, an enormous house. You know, I don't have one of these outdoor kitchens, like these little, uh, you know, modern little millennials do. I don't have, I don't have one of those, you know, or one of these, you know, really wealthy retired people, you know, I, I have to use a community barbecue pit and do it like 10 feet away from my door and all this crap. So yeah, because I'm a real guy, I'm an average Joe, you know, I'm not like a Joe Hogan or whatever, you know, I, I don't, you know, I haven't had everything handed to me on a silver platter and I don't intend to. This isn't that kind of podcast, you know, get up there and pretend like, yeah, bro, I'm normal. Yeah, I'm normal. I'm a normal guy. Yeah, no, that's not quite how that works, right? But anyway, so I, although I listen to him all the time, you know, he, he plays that part pretty good, right? And that's cool. You know, that's cool. But I want to go out for a cookout. Like a good old fashioned cookout. I'm not talking about with. You know, the big smokers and get your pellet grill out and get your flat iron. And, you know, all this stuff you see on, on social media today. Ah, okay, whatever. I'm just, it's not my thing, man. You know, the, the 67 different slap your mama's hoe seasoning on your burn ends. You know, people with these, you know, trying to, yeah, whatever. So... <clears throat> I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about going, doing a cookout, a grill, you know? You know what I'm talking about? Like, check this out. This is the kind of thing I'm wanting to do, right? Okay? I'm wanting to go and get a bag of charcoal. Go to the park, right? Dump that charcoal into one of them black barbecue pits right there by the, the picnic table, you know? Throw some lighter fluid on it. Let it soak for a minute. Light that bad boy up. Let it let the coals get covered white, you know. And while that's while that's heating up, you know, while that, that's burning down, you know, get me some hamburger meat, some 80-20 hamburger meat, cheapest I can find, you know. Pat out some hamburger patties, right? Put some salt, pepper, maybe a little garlic powder on there or something, you know, onion powder or something, you know. Nothing too fancy. Yeah, throw those on the grill. Uh, Let them cook, you know. Then get some cheese, you know. Throw some some of that American cheese, you know, in the the, the square one wrapped in plastic, you know. Throw that on that bad boy. Woo, boy. Yeah, let them cook for a little bit. 
let that stuff melt down, get me a bun, you know, a, a, a white bun, you know, a white bread bun, you know, <clears throat> throw it on there with some mustard, some ketchup or something with some lettuce and tomato that I sliced with my hands that I didn't wash after making the patties. You know, they put a pickle or two on there, some onion, lettuce, tomato. Uh, eat it with some, some some barbecue flavored chips. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, eat you two or three of them, just because you can. You know, just because you can. That's what I'm talking about. And sit there and drink you a can of Coke, but not Coke, the store brand Coke. Like the Sam's Choice Cola or the H-E-B Hill Country Fair or whatever it is, you know, the Piggly Wiggly brand or whatever it is you got. Talk about the store brand cheap, taste about half flat, you know, kind of Coke. Although that's not Coke, right? That's a that's a, a generic Coke, as we call them. <laughs> a generic Coke. Yeah. Yeah. Go get one of them generic Cokes out of the ice chest. <laughs> you remember this? So anyway, and, and you know, and this this is the kind of cookout I'm talking about. Go to out like to the lake, you know, like to the cheap park at the lake. Costs you a little of nothing to get in, you know. But it's getting harder and harder to find like good good places like that that aren't crowded, man. Especially near the city. mm Hmm. Now, I mean, I'm thought used to, you know, you could go to these places and they were on a Wednesday afternoon and it'd be, you know, pretty much to yourself. Even on a Saturday, it would be pretty close to, to having a place to yourself, you know. But then, uh, you know, um, sorry, I had to uh, take a look at this. This uh, text from my wife, she said, uh, you know, she's substitute teaching, you know, and she said, if they all walked in and offered me a job right now, I'd have to tell them to stick it. She does not deal well with these situations. So anyway, what was I talking about? So, so yeah. So let me turn this off so I don't get uh, <clears throat> distracted again. And y'all probably don't hear my phone blowing up in the background, or maybe you do. I don't know. But anyway... Enough of that. Okay. So anyway, that's the kind of cookout I want to go on, right? Like, have a cookout. You know, maybe go camping without all the crap. You know? I'm not talking about going glamping, you know, like these kids do nowadays, these these people nowadays. Got to hook up my RV. Got to get my camper. Go out camping buddy come on man go camping i'm not talking about go out there in your north face and your ll bean and i'm talking about go out there yo shorts and t-shirt you know and look like you, you know something just i don't know but go camping man don't go out there with your stylish you know lawn chairs with look like texas you know go out there look check this out go up to the state park or somewhere, you know, get you a camp, you know, a, a tent, you know, it's got a couple of holes in the side, you know, because the rats ate it while it was in the Morgan building, you know, <clears throat> something, you know, coons got into it or something, get you a, set your tent up, right, throw you some sleeping bags in there, mm-hmm, get you some of them owl lights, you know, the, the, are these camping lights that are like red, blue, green, yellow. And they have these little covers over them. Look like owls, you know. Put those up around your camp, you know. Get you a Coleman lantern that you got to pump up. You remember that? And some mantles, you know. Show a kid how to light that, that lantern with those mantles. And you sit there and you BS, you know, on a, you know, folding lawn chair. Or, uh, you know, maybe just the picnic table or something. Or the ground, maybe even. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm not talking about making this thing a 
complicated. You know, you got the ice chest, you know, not the the Yeti or whatever. I'm talking about the igloo ice chest with the foam and the plastic, you know, the cheap one. That way you don't have to look the part. You just go out and do it. Kind of like King of the Hill. Yep. I remember when I went camping once, you know. Man, that old man, one of old camping man up that that old hill country, man. That that gum beautiful old place, man. That gum old frail river, man. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I'm not talking about going looking like you at the NASCAR track, you know. I'm talking about be real about it. Be be cool about it, man. Be real with it. Have some fun with it. That's what I'm talking about. You know, and, and that's where I think you get to the the real heart of the matter, the real meat of the matter, right? Is that you're going out there and you're being real with yourself. You're being real with those that you love. You know, you're not trying to be all cool and everything, you know. You know, you're not going out there, you know, drink your beer and get loud and everything else like these people do today. And there's even some guys our age, man, who are doing it, man. Still trying to prove how how cool they are, man. I still got it. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> you know, yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> but you know, and and that's kind of the world we live in, man. You know that that's the world we live in. You know, we deal with this crap. You know, that's okay though. That's okay because everybody's different. You know, but I think it's just a little bit simpler. You know. Uh, why don't we go back to a simpler time in the world, man? Why don't we go back to a time and a place that people actually loved one another and people actually loved what they were doing. And they didn't go out there just to to show off what they got, you know? They didn't go out there to live it up, you know? Like, Look at me, I got 16 Yeti coolers. Okay, good for you. I got one friggin' igloo, <laughs> you know, with some generic Cokes in it, you know. I mean, why not? Why do you have to make it so complicated? Why not just simplify things a little bit, you know? Why do you have to go out and make everything so difficult and expensive? Just go out and enjoy it. You know why? Because you've been sold a bill of goods. You, my friend, have been sold a bill of goods. You've been told, these these young guys, and guys our age too, you know, a lot of them, have been told that they have to, you know, do this and do that, you know. Who was it, man? Was it Mick Jagger? Rolling Stones? That said something about, you know, he can't be a man because he doesn't smoke the same cigarettes as me. I can't get no satisfaction. You remember that? That's true, man. Who says you can't be a man unless you, you know, have the the flat iron grill or whatever it is, you know, or the, the Yeti cooler or the, you know, you can't do this unless you got the, you know, the, the name brand, you know, the, the, the marketed brand, you know, I, I have a Yeti cooler and they're pretty cool. They're nice. They're nice. I have one, one, one. It's not even a big one. I can't say I use it a lot. <laughs> yeah. You know, but just go barbecue, man. Have a good time. Go find you a picnic table with one of them black iron barbecue pits on, you know, grill. But you got to turn around, you know, face the wind. Go grill you some hamburgers or some sausages or some hot dogs or something. And just be real with it, man. Enjoy it for a time being. Just enjoy it. Have a good time. Don't go out there with you. 
little portable hand washers and your little lotions and creams and sanitizers and everything else. Just enjoy what it's like to eat a hamburger that a fly just buzzed on. Enjoy it. Swat the mosquitoes. Deal with the gnats. Just enjoy it. Be at one with nature. You know, don't go out there and try to be Coolio. Go out there and just be a dude. Be a guy. Leave your dude wipes at home. You know, because <laughs> you know, you can't wipe your ass with toilet paper anymore. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Okay. So I, I've been on this rant for like the past 15 minutes. Okay. All I'm saying is we need to be more real with ourselves. We need to be, be more authentic, more genuine, more real. Have real conversations. Talk about real life. We need to be real with ourselves. All right. Be real with it. Okay, be real with it. I'm Matt. Peace out. Love y'all. We'll see you later. Take care of yourself and each other. Be good to everybody, all right? And just be a good man. Take care. Bye-bye. Well, this has been the Micah Skull Podcast. I am your host, Matt Pierce. Thanks for joining me today in this conversation. If you have a question or comment, you can go to our website, micahscall.org and fill out the form there. And maybe you want to advertise with us. Maybe you want to get your business heard. I'm willing to hear it. We'd love to have you. If it's a great product, if it's a great service, we'd love to talk with you. I will talk with you personally. So feel free to shoot me an email at matt at mattpierceblog.com or fill out the form at micahscall.org. See you again next time, everyone.